Welcome to The Long Room with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And today is our uh, Try Something New and what is it called? Creamy Chicken Stew. Creamy Chicken Stew. It's like beef stew with chicken. We will link the recipe down in the description so that you can get it if you're interested in it. Um, and so now we're going to cut to us, well to him, I actually let him make most of this, to him making this recipe and uh, then we'll taste it on camera. Will we like it or will we not? Hey guys, future Christy coming here just to let you know that this was a video from our vault, meaning we recorded it in a long time ago. It was actually 2020 and we just never uploaded it. So we're going to share that with you today, but we do hope that you keep in mind that we recorded this back when we first started out. And so our equipment wasn't good and our sound and lighting wasn't all that great. But <laughs> hopefully we've improved a little bit over the years on all of that. But we just wanted you to know that's why the quality may be a little bit lower than normal. We hope you enjoy the recipe. Now let's get back to it. We already cooked the bacon. We got the bacon grease, the bacon juices in here, drippings. Um, and so now we're going to put in the, the carrots, the celery. Ooh. I'll try to take that sound out in editing, but we apologize if we can't get that sound out in editing. But. Too much salt. I also don't know if it's going to be a Because we got it way over there, you know. Normally we have it close to us. Yeah. Two teaspoons of salt, so not quite two teaspoons. It's going to put a little lighter on it. How much time? One. that for five minutes. Okay, so that goes for five minutes. You got 50 <laughs> Okay, so he cooked the bacon and then in the bacon drippings he added the celery carrots, two teaspoons of salt, which is probably, hopefully not quite two teaspoons because I like to go light on my sodium, and one teaspoon of thyme. Anything else that was in there? Okay, and then he set it for five minutes. Anything else you're gonna do while during that five minutes? No. Okay, all right, so we're gonna stop it and pick it up in five minutes. How many tablespoons? Uh, six tablespoons of flour. Six tablespoons of flour are now in there, and then it needs to go for another two, two minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. and what do you got that set on? Like a medium? Medium. Mm -hmm. Medium heat. Okay. All right, we'll pick up in two minutes. All right, so now he's adding four cups of chicken broth to the pot. Um, if you follow us, you know, we made that chicken broth at home. Next come the taters. Okay, we have, it said to do two large red potatoes and two, um, what is it, half inch yep. cubes. And uh, I actually did three. We did three because I didn't think that that would make very many. <laughs> so, um. What now? You let it uh, bring it to a bring it to a simmer and let it simmer for uh, ten minutes. All right, so we're gonna br bring it to a simmer and then let it go for ten minutes. Okay. All right, we will pick up in a few minutes. All right, so now what are we doing? We're adding a half and half. That's a cup of half and half. And the chicken. Okay, 
I think it said three cups, but uh, Joel is a fan of whatever was left from the whole chicken is going to be thrown in there. So we probably Why stop it three a more. little bit when you can have more? <laughs> So if you're all about following the rules on that, I think it was three cups, but um, we're just, he's just going to keep going <laughs> till he decides that um, it's so much chicken that. I want to taste the chicken in my <laughs> stuff, man. Hopefully it tastes, uh, the chicken tastes good because, uh, you know, I had to, Joel had to work last night, so I had to do the spatchcock chicken by myself. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Did it ever? It went dark. So he added the chicken in, the half and half, and he has it simmering for, it's gonna simmer for five minutes. Okay. We're gonna salt and pepper it a little bit. Give it a little taste after the five minutes. You just wanna salt and pepper it a little bit. Give it a little more flavor. All right, so there you have it. That's the way you make the creamy chicken stew. stew. Creamy chicken stew with bacon. Um, and so um, we're gonna give her a try now. Yeah. You're getting all the good stuff. Well, you gotta get some tater on there, man. I wanted some of the bacon. Just saying. I have a habit of burning my tongue on these videos, so nope. being extra careful today. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's yeah, it's good. not it's not too bad. It's pretty good. I thought it was gonna be a potato soup to begin with, but he doesn't like potato soup, so he was really um not I was really worried about how thick it was going to be uh, in the beginning. Because uh, I using half and half instead of heavy cream, I didn't think we really thicken it up. However, it was the potatoes yeah, cooking the, the potatoes, the potatoes for ten minutes, simmering those for ten minutes in the chicken broth was what really gave it a real good thickness to it. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I like that. I would eat that. Oh yeah. Okay. I would order that in a restaurant. That was good. Well, you don't have to because we can make it. Here. That's right. <laughs> So there you have it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for updates from us. Uh, uh, click, on, click on one of those videos. What's that clicking noise? That's you clicking one of those videos. <laughs> That's right, click it. That's floating around our heads. So don't forget That's to do right. that. That's right, make it turn gray and turn the bell until it says all. There you go. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's gonna do it today for the long run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And don't forget it's a long run. Give yourself a little grace. See you next time. Bye. Hopefully I wasn't rocking out of the view. Rocking out. Rocking out. Rocking out!